Hey guys, it's Sandy, and today I wanted to try out the new Nails Inc. Paint Can Nail Polish for the first time with you guys. I've been seeing this product all over the internet lately, along with having you guys tweet me photos of it. So today I have both cans here, the silver one and the pink one, and I'm excited to try them out with you. They retail for 10 British pounds, which is 15 US dollars each, so they're a little pricey. All you're supposed to do is use a base coat, spray the polish over your nails, top coat, and then wash your hands. Let's try it out and see if it really works. I'm going to start off with a base coat. I'm using Zoya's Anchor Base, and I'm applying a coat of it over all of my nails. Also, I'm making sure to cover as much of my nails as possible with it because I'm assuming that the spray polish will only stick to the base coat and not my natural nails. So now that I've applied it all, I'm going to wait for it to dry. And guys, whenever I wait for my polish to dry now, I take out my phone and I play Polish Blast. How many of you guys do that too? Also, if you play, what level are you on? I really want to know, so let me know down in the comments. Now that they're dry, I'm shaking up the paint can and then spraying it all over my nails. Okay, so it never took very well to my nails. Only the first one seemed to have worked. So that's really weird. I had really high hopes for this, so I'm not giving up yet. I'm shaking it up again, and then I'm trying my thumb. Okay, wow, that worked really well, so I'm guessing I never shook the can up enough the first time. So let's reshake it and try it again. All right, <laughs> okay, there we go. It's really opaque now. For my remaining four nails, I'm going to try out the pink one. Yep, my remaining four nails, because I probably should have done this whole hand pink, but oh well, I kind of got carried away with the silver and sprayed my thumb on the other hand too. <laughs> so this dries pretty much immediately, so once I'm done spraying, I'm taking out my fast drying top coat and applying it over all the nails. This should help turn the finish of the polish to shiny from matte, and it should also help the polish last longer. So let's give it a few minutes to dry, and then go to the sink to wash away the excess polish using soap and water. The pink polish washed off pretty effortlessly, but the silver needed a lot more scrubbing and scraping off my skin with my nails. So here's the finished result. I love how shiny, sparkly, and chromatic the silver is. It has a different type of sparkle than a regular metallic silver polish. It's like it's made up of a million little pieces of tiny glitter. I really don't like the finish of the pink though. It looks really cheap and bumpy to me. What do you guys think of the finished results? Let me know in the comments. So here are my final thoughts on the product. It covers well, dries super fast, but the overall process isn't necessarily faster than using a regular nail polish, nor is the finished result any neater. It comes in two colors, and I personally didn't like the pink at all. It reminded me of cheap peel-off nail polishes that I had when I was little. The silver was really sparkly and chromatic, which was cool, and I think it'd be fun to try it out with nail vinyls and stickers. If you're big into collecting nail polish, then this is a must-have because it's so unique and revolutionary to the nail polish world that it's great to have a can as part of your collection. And finally, it made a mess, which I really wasn't happy with. I had some pink over my top coat, over my camera, and there was a thin layer of tiny silver glitter all over my whole table and my shirt, which was really annoying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you guys tried this? Will you buy a can? Also, let me know if you'd like to see more product reviews like this one and which product you'd like to see me try next. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time.